Hi, my name is Magnus Harrison. I'm the Executive Medical Director at UHDB. At the moment, all NHS and social care staff are working tirelessly to look after our patients and their families. We're seeing unprecedented demand across the whole of the health and social care system. Can I please ask that you use services wisely? If your problem isn't immediately life-threatening, can I ask that you seek help from your local pharmacy or visit NHS 111 on online or even call NHS 111. Many thanks. It's not true that GP practices are closed. They are open and busier than ever before, seeing more patients face to face than they are treating over the phone. The COVID-19 pandemic is still here. Please continue to act responsibly and with caution. The COVID-19 vaccination works. Help us to help you by getting vaccinated if you have not already done so and are eligible to have it. These rules of thumb might help you to help us when making decisions about which service to use. If you are planning to go to school, college, work or socialising after visiting an emergency department, then you likely didn't need to be there in the first place. Self-care, pharmacy or an urgent treatment centre is the right place to start. If you are waiting for 12 hours in an emergency department and are not unwell, then you likely didn't need to be in emergency department in the first place. Getting an appointment at an urgent treatment centre via NHS 111 or seeing your pharmacist is the right place to start? You can buy medication off the shelf from the supermarket, then you generally don't need to visit your GP. Please check your symptoms on 111 online. If you have a concern about something that you can't see, such as a cough, pain or something under your skin, such as a lump, then check it out with your pharmacist first. More often than not, they'll be able to provide treatment. If you're feeling well enough to drive yourself to an emergency department, then take a moment. Is there a better place that you could go first? An urgent treatment centre or pharmacy? Consider it. Is that the better place to start? If you need psychological support, please call our helpline number on 0800 028 0077. Do you have to drive past a pharmacy or an urgent treatment centre to get to the emergency department? You may save yourself a significant amount of time if you call into the urgent treatment centre or pharmacy on your way. Our average waits in the emergency treatment centre are currently one to two hours. At the emergency department, this could be six to seven hours. At a pharmacy, this could be about 10 minutes. And your pharmacist will be able to give you really strong and good clinical advice. If you have a psychological need, please call our helpline and we'll talk you through how to get help. Our number is 0800 028 0077.